Hello everybody and welcome to exercise one. We are looking at page 57 in the workbook here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at part B of this exercise. Okay, before we scroll down to that, let's read the directions up here. Okay, so they'd like us to find the derivative y prime and then to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve at x equals one. Okay, and then we'll compare to our graph to see if we think that that's reasonable. All right, so let's scroll down here. And we could maybe start with the graphical part of this. So they asked us about the slope of the tangent line at x equals one. So if you find that point here, we are talking about the slope of this line that I'm drawing in. What does it look like to you, positive or a negative slope? I'm seeing a positive slope. So when we get to the end and come up with a numerical answer, we can check that, okay? Just verify that we get a positive number. Okay, so first things first here, we wanna find a slope of a tangent line. We need the derivative of our function first. All right, so looking at the function we've got, arctangent of x squared all squared, we gotta look at the form of that function and decide what derivative formulas might apply in this situation. Well, notice we've got an inside and an outside function. And so this is kind of a typical chain rule situation. So we might start by thinking of u as being arctangent of x squared, that's inside of the squared function. So we're gonna start by taking the derivative of the whole function, which looks like u squared. And the derivative of u squared is just two u. So we're gonna get two times the u that we just circled. And the second part of the chain rule is to multiply by the derivative of the u. Okay, so we get two arctangent of x squared times the deri derivative of arctangent of x squared. Okay, so we are done with the two arctangent of x squared part. To finish, we need to take the derivative of the arctangent of x squared. Okay, how do we do that? Well, notice that this is also a chain rule situation. Okay, this time the u is x squared. And so we need to ask ourselves, how do we take the derivative of arctangent of u? Well, let's scroll back and sneak a peek. We wrote down a formula for that a couple of pages ago. Okay, and the derivative of arctangent of x looked like one over one plus x squared. So in our case, we're gonna get um, one over one plus u squared, okay, for the derivative of our whole function. All right, sorry for the scrolling here. So one over one plus u squared is gonna look like one over one plus x squared squared. And then the second piece of the chain rule is to take the derivative of just the u part. Okay, so one more step and I think we'll have our derivative. Okay, one over one plus an x squared squared is x to the fourth. So we'll go ahead and simplify that. And then the derivative of x squared by the power rule is just two x. Okay, so there's a formula for the derivative. Now, normally we don't make a big deal out of simplifying. Okay, but in this case, we're gonna need to substitute a value of, of x into our function. So it's probably to our advantage to simplify a little bit if we can. Okay, so a couple of things we might notice here is that we've got a two out in front and a two x here. We can multiply those two things together and get a four x. And we can also take that four x and put it into the numerator, numerator of our fraction here. Okay, so if we do all of those things together, we're gonna get arctangent of x squared times four x. There's the two times two x over one plus x to the fourth. And we can even go one more step and multiply these two fractions. So arctangent of x squared is the same as arctangent of x squared over one. And then if you multiply that fraction by the four x over one plus x to the fourth, you can put that into, into one fraction altogether like this. Okay, that's just a simpler way of writing our derivative. Okay, and again, if, if, if you didn't simplify, that's okay. You don't have to simplify. I'm, I'm only doing that because it's gonna make the next step a little bit easier for us. 
Okay, so we're ready then to find the slope of the tangent line at 1. That was the second part of this problem. Okay, and to do that, we're just going to take x equals 1 and substitute it into our formula for the derivative. So we're going to get 4 times 1 arctangent of 1 squared over 1 plus 1 to the fourth. Okay, and let's see, simplify that down a little bit. Arctangent of 1, 1 over 1, 1 plus 1 to the fourth is just 2. Then we kind of come to a situation here. How do we get a number for arctangent of 1? Okay, um, if you've taken trig recently, you might remember how, how to find that number exactly, but for most of you, it's probably been a while. So you could go to your calculator to do this, but how do you calculate an arctangent on your calculator? There is a key for that on your calculator, but it looks like tangent inverse, okay? So I wanna just remind you of that arctangent of one. Another way of writing that is tangent inverse of one. And you will find a tangent inverse key on your calculator. Okay, so you can punch this into your calculator. Make sure if you do that, though, that you're in radians. Okay, that's the assumption when we're doing calculus um, that we're talking about. When we talk about units on our trig functions, it's always going to be in radians. Okay, and if you do that, what you're going to come up with is an answer that looks like, as a decimal, about 1.57. Notice that that number is positive, just like we predicted a couple of minutes ago, and that number represents the slope of this line, Okay, approximately 1.57.